This is a video on how to install the updated uh, joystick selector kit assembly um, on a Coyote CK20. Uh, the part number is right there and that consists of three new uh, cable ends which those are not it. Those are the originals um, and one of them ended up pulling off the main pivot uh, and so then the joystick controller doesn't work properly. Um, so the new kit consists of three new cable ends uh, with all steel uh, balls and uh, you know no nylocks on there or whatever. So you don't have to worry about it ripping off. But the biggest problem with this whole process is not getting it down to this to where you can actually work on it because that only consists of a cover that bolts onto the fender area right here, bolts on, you know, through the back. <clears throat> and you've got the, um, uh, you know, little shroud, plastic shroud with your boot. I bought a new one because my old one was cracked. But the biggest pain in the ass is your old coupler right here where your joystick attaches to was probably already half ripped off because these nylock ball ends, you know what I mean, obviously freaking uh, wear and they it ends up pulling through. But the, the biggest you know pain about this whole process is trying to figure out how to get this coupler on all three um, balls at the same time. So what I did was I marked my cable, just pick one, and uh, I marked the cable, marked the box. That way there you can't screw up as far as which cable does what function. Um, so like I say, you end up unbolting the whole box, which there's just a couple of bolts, you get it down to this point, and you take this coupler off and end up loosening your lock nuts underneath, which you can pretty much move this around anywhere you need it after you undo the whole thing. Undo your lock nuts that hold the cables to the uh, you know junction box <clears throat> and end up pulling the whole cable back through which I found the nylock uh, tops to these uh, were you know so worn <clears throat> that they didn't want to go back through the housing pull you know all the way straight through the housing so what I did was took a pair of dykes clipped them you know just Mutilated the top off real quick. It only takes a minute pop those off and the whole cable will slide down through the the body Once you get that out you can actually there's a little lock nut That's right on you know uh, The bottom of your uh, cable end undo that put your new ends on The biggest pain about this whole freaking thing is figuring out the sequence of how you can get all three back in at the same time it, it it's almost like a freaking Rubik's Cube, but <clears throat> once you figure out the sequence of how you have to do it, it's not that bad. What I found was um, the best thing that worked was take one of your cables and loosen it all the way so that it's all the way um, pulled down. The ball obviously will be way down here. Take your other one. One, I can't remember which one, but it doesn't make a difference, I don't really believe. And push it all the way up, tightening your cable right here, which it just swivels on this body. Tighten it right here, send it all the way up. Hook your coupler, both of these, on both these balls, which you kind of have to jiggle it a little bit. Then what you have to do is one is all the way down, one is all the way up, take it, Take the one that's all the way down and adjust it all the way up to the top till it bottoms out. <clears throat> Both of those cables, these little ends down here, can only go so far before they stop. Push them all the way up so that it looks something like this. And then this, oops, sorry about this, but it's hard to do this by yourself. This is your pivot point. And that one is actually bolted down into the base of this with the Allen. And obviously you had to undo that to put the new one in. 
don't put the bolt, well obviously, I'm sorry, you can't put the bolt in there until you get this back in. And this is slotted, just like all the others right here, has a slot, and in that body it has a slot right down in here, so that this locks in, so when you tighten your Allen, it doesn't spin. And if you don't align it, it's gonna be much higher. But anyway, after you get these two cables connected, like I said, put both cables all the way to the top, giving you more clearance right here between the, it's kind of hard to see, the light's not perfect right now, but between the body and the coupler, you want the most distance you can get right there. Then you can take, and I'm gonna take this old one, you take the old one, kind of loop it into the top of the coupler, and jiggle it just right and you'll get it to drop back down into the main body of this then you can spin it slightly and have it align with the grooves that are in the body obviously put your allen back in and from there then you have to adjust your cables back down to where your lock the lock you know used to face the rear um, towards the fender here but this lock is what locks I don't know if you can see, it locks both of these cables so that you can't, you know, obviously hit it inadvertently and whatnot. But, so you just end up adjusting your cables back down to where your lock sits properly in that groove and tighten your lock nuts and go from there. Uh, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. The Like I said, the worst part is trying to figure out how the hell to get all three connected at once that took me a little bit because like i said when you take it apart it's already half apart for you because that's why you're fixing it in the first place so anyway uh this is only my second video hopefully this helps help you figure this out thanks